Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. vehicle we're going to be doing 2022 Ford Bronco this is the Outer Banks edition we're going to be doing new speakers front dash bottom kick panel and the rear speakers that are on the back and then we're also going to be adding a subwoofer to it stay tuned we're going to do these kick panel speakers we're going to start with the passenger side we're going to start with removing this piece to get to the kick panel to get it off I literally just pulled this up with my hands Here's the back side. I did not pry on it really hard or anything, but I just used my hands and just kind of pulled up. There's what it looks like underneath. And then now we're gonna to try to start removing this piece so that we can get the kick panel piece off. I'll probably end up taking this piece right here off first to be able to get the kick panel out. Pulled this piece up right here and I literally just pulled up right here and then just started pulling back and this whole thing came out as one piece. Um, fairly simple to get the passenger side off. Now, the driver's side I don't think is going to be so easy, to be honest with you. Um, this did pull up right here. There's a clip right here. So I just kind of pulled up a little bit and then pulled back. And then there's those two clips. There's a clip right there. So fairly easy to get out. You'll have to pry it back into there, but not terrible. Not the worst thing I've ever seen, but just don't break anything. Here is the factory six and a half inch mid base driver. We're gonna go ahead and take that out and we're gonna need an adapter to fit that. Lovely. We're gonna remove the seven millimeters. You've got one here, one here, and then there's gonna be one right there. So you remove those three seven millimeters and you can pull this whole piece out and then unplug it right here. And the plug is right there. And what you want to do, and there you go, and unplug that and we'll get this last seven millimeter over here. These are the speaker adapter plate you're going to use, which is an 825605 Ford multi-plate. They also make generic versions that we'll put down in the description below. So there's multiple people that make these. Um, they all work pretty good. I've used all of them. So we're going to put these here and then use a new six and a half to go into this. And then we'll have to drill a hole so the speaker wire can come through. And this is the factory. And it's got a pretty beefy magnet on it. So we're going to have to put some good speakers in here, reproduce some good bass. We're also going to dynamat and everything else to make it look nice and sound nice. So there was no rattling and kind of keep it enclosed. The speaker adapter harnesses we're going to use, which is a 725602. This is what we're going to plug into the speaker and then plug into the factory harness. So here is both of them mounted in there. Here is the back side. Just connects right into the speaker. And then you'll have your plug coming right off on both. That way we can just plug and play. Basically, you're going to bolt just like factory and then everything will work just like the factory speaker did. So here's the factory speaker. Everything's gonna go right, right in just like it. We are gonna dynamat as well. We're gonna put some dynamat around everything. That way it's nice and secure in there. We've got some dynamat back there behind the speaker. Not the easiest thing to dynamat because it's so small and my arms are so big to get back here, but we at least got some dynamat pieces back here to kind of help alleviate some of the rattle. Now we're gonna run the harness through. All right, so we got the speaker all bolted in. You got your bolt here, up here, and on the other side. And then down here, this little piece is just open right here. This, there's like a little, literally like a little flapper that just sits right in here. That's the only thing that is bad about this is 
this little piece right here is open. There's just like a little piece of foam right here. I'm gonna put some dynamite here, but that's where we ran the harness through and then we'll just plug the harness in just like so. So that way it'll just plug and play. Um, but I am gonna put a piece of dynamite right here to cover this up because it was just literally a piece of foam. Like if I could get in here and get it. Yeah, it's like, look at this. This is, this is what covers up this hole. This, just this little piece of foam right here. That's it. It's the only thing that's covering this up. And all that air is gonna come out. We ended up putting a lot more dynamite in here to kind of alleviate this piece down here because if you look, it's just foam, just a foam. So we ended up putting a ton of dynamite down there to kind of, you know, kind of keep that from floating out there. I will say, no matter what we've done, no matter dynamite, trying to seal it off, whatever I've done, it still does not produce mid base the same as the driver's side. We have still not taken out the driver's side. So you will lose mid base changing to aftermarket um, i'm not sure if it's the frequency of the speaker the plastic ring i'm not sure if it's not sealing up correctly but i've lost a, a tremendous amount of mid base but i don't care about that because we're adding a sub to this but i will let you know before you do this if you plan on adding aftermarket speakers in the bottom you will lose a ton of mid base comparable to what you had factory just letting you know fyi Thank <laughs> you. 